All right. Good morning, everyone, and happy Sunday. Thank you for being here. You may be watching this in our Facebook group or our YouTube channel, Business Analyst and Scrum Master in Demand. In today's session and today's topic, based on uh, lots of feedback that I received from you is since system integration and what it means from a business analyst and scrum master standpoint. And this is a great topic, and I don't see a lot of people talking about this, so um, I wanted to take the opportunity to cover this in a little bit of detail and give you guys examples of what system integration means and what you as a business analyst and scrum master have to be prepared to do. And as I always say, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I will um, be monitoring comments throughout this presentation. And even if you're watching this as a replay, please put the comments in, uh, put, please put your uh, questions in the comments below and I will uh, provide a response. So with that, let's get started um, with this and um, let me know if you have any questions. So from us, uh, what does system, so the goal of this presentation is to introduce you to the system integration from a business analyst and scrum master standpoint. What does system integration even mean, you guys, right? It's a topic that um, a lot of uh, people, um, when I ask for training topics, it's a, it's a topic that a lot of people have confusion around, right? And lots of people wanted to understand this. And when I was doing research, um, now, I've been doing this for many, 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 many years, right? I've been in this industry for 15 to 17 years um, in various roles as a business analyst, as a project manager, as a program manager. So some of these things come second nature to folks that have been in this environment for a very long time. And for newer folks, for somebody that's trying to get in or, you know, very um, new to the environment, this is a topic that can be very confusing. And I get that. So here's um, what says, let's start with what system integration is, and then I will go through and provide um, more information on what, um, um, how you could uh, best understand it and how you can do a great job as a, from a business analyst and scrum master standpoint. So I wanted to give you guys a definition of system integration. Well, Gartner says, system integration is a process of creating a complex uh, information system that may include designing or building a customized architecture or application, integrating with new or existing hardware, packaged with a, a custom software and communication, right? And for like, of course this is correct, but it, I don't, you know, it doesn't really help anybody understand too much to an extent what this means. So I'll give you a simple example, right? What is system integration from my terms, right? To make sure that you guys understand what it really is. And it helps you uh, when you're working as a business analyst or a scrum master, it helps you understand what to do with it, right? And what things are being, need to be called out, right? So a system, what is system integration? My definition is it's a way for systems and applications to connect with one another, either to pull data or push data um, to them um, for them to work end to end. To them means um, the other system or application. So I'll repeat that. System integration, it's a way for systems and applications to connect with one another to either pull data or push data to the other system and application for them to work end to end, right? And what that really means is, so if you think about uh, I'll go into the detail about this a little bit later. Um, so let's talk about how system integration is achieved, right? System for system integration to be completed or for it to be done, your developers and programmers are primarily responsible for that, right? Developers have to generally create a system interface for data to be either pulled or pushed, right? It's something that they're responsible for doing, right? And most commonly used method for system integration, right, or system uh, user interface is is used um, by achieved by using APIs. And I know that you guys have heard of APIs um, lots of times. We on my YouTube channel, we also have two to three videos explaining what APIs are, um, but they're more from a business analyst and scrum master standpoint, which is what I'm going to go into detail in the next set of slides. Okay. I'll pause there to see if you guys have any questions for me before I continue forward. Again, lots of you guys have questions around APIs. Um, 
But from a business analyst and scrum master standpoint, you have to understand that APIs um, are nothing more than a way for systems to communicate to one another. And from a business analyst and scrum master standpoint, all you need to understand is whether an API is being used and gather information from your developers to understand more about what the API is, right? So here um, I've talked about what is system integration, how it's achieved. Um, I'll go into more about APIs because APIs, believe it or not, are one of the most common ways that we use for, um, for us to pull and push data, right? So what is an API? API stands for Application Programming Interface. Um, again, what does it mean? It, all it means is that it's a way for systems to communicate and interact with one another, allows us to build systems easier, easier without having to rebuild everything, right? APIs are piece of code that's already been coded and validated by, by other really, really smart people. And when we use APIs, we have the ability to use um, code that's been developed and validated without having our programmers recreate that functionality. So APIs is, is a, a great way for us to um, use um, in our day-to-day -day, um, applications. Some examples of most common APIs, most of you guys may have seen when you're logging into e-com websites, you may see the option to log in with Facebook or Google, right? Um, text message verification, anytime you sign up for something and it's requiring a two-factor authentication where you have to punch in a code, uh, it's using an API, most likely Twilio, and I'm going to give you an example of that. Email verification, Google Maps, pay with PayPal, weather apps, these are all APIs, which um, again, have been coded and developed by programmers somewhere. And we use that code, we reuse that code with permission from the creators um, without having to recreate the wheel, okay? Now, from a business analyst and Scrum Master standpoint, I always um, want to be super clear that from a business analyst and Scrum Master, or even product owners, we document the what and or the end-to-end -end result, right? Um, lots of you guys get stuck, right, in wanting to know exactly how an API needs to work, how, you know, um, and even, you know, what calls need to be made and all those things that really should not matter to a business analyst or a scrum master, right? What your, need, your role in this um, instance, when you're talking about system integration, or if there's an API that needs to be used, you need to just understand the what and or the end result. So you can document the requirements, then it's your developers and programmers responsibility to figure out how to use that right? How it's even their responsibility to figure out if they can use an API or what they need to do to make something possible, right? So um, I'll give you an example. So in this example, um, we're using Twilio as an API to send or receive text messages. So I've given you an example of how to write requirements in the Agile environment and Waterfall, right? Because again, our role, our goal our viewpoint should just be business analyst and scrum master and not uh, defining exactly how the API needs to work and what API to use. That's your developer's job. That's their responsibility. So for example, in this example, let's say that we're, uh, we need to use um, Twilio to send and receive text messages. In the Agile environment, if you're working as a Scrum Master, this is how you would document those requirements. If you're a business analyst, this is how you would document those requirements, right? So um, let's go. As a mentor, I want to sign up and register my cell phone number so that I can, uh, so that my login access can be restricted to my personal cell phone number, given that I'm ready to sign up as a user. When I provide my cell phone, then I should receive a text message on my cell phone to verify my usage, right? Here, we didn't talk about Twilio as an API. We didn't say, you know, exactly, you know, ex uh, you know, we didn't specify Twilio. We didn't talk about, you know, uh, API calls or API keys or any of that information, right? We just have provided what from a business, from a user standpoint is needed. Now it's on your developers. It's on them to figure out if we are even going to be using Twilio as an API or if they want to build this in-house for whatever reason, it's their job to figure that out. Your goal from a business analyst and scrum master is to identify what the requirements are, which is what we've done here. In the waterfall environment, uh, the system shall allow the user to register 
uh, uh, using their self, uh, personal cell phone number. Once the cell phone number is has been entered into the system, the end user shall receive a text message for verification. Again, even in the waterfall scenario, when you're writing your functional requirements, you are not specifying um, any APIs or how to do this. Our goal as business analysts and scrum masters is to document the what and the end result, right? The how is your developer's job responsibility, right? Now, if you do have questions, right, um, uh, your developers will review the requirements. They will determine if an API exists for them to meet the requirement. Well, they will discuss the API recommendations with the team. If approved, um, use API to deliver requirements. And if not approved, they will program the code, right? It will take longer, more error prone, and et cetera, and et cetera, et cetera. But that's their job to figure that out. OK, um, what kind of APIs do exist? We have free APIs known as open source APIs. Um, usually code is available online. And there's also paid APIs, right, that will require your company or organization to sign up for the service. Developers from both companies, yours and the API owners will need to connect on the requirements. If you know, like sometimes I get these questions, how will I know that it will work or how can I know more? Work with your developers, you guys, right? Um, these roles, uh, uh, as a business analyst and a scrum master, these are very, 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 very team-centric um, roles where you need to connect and work with one another. And so I highly recommend if you have more questions about, you know, how something's going to work, go talk to your developers. This is what I advise my students in my program. If, you know, if you're having questions or doubtful about something, call, you know, go talk to your developers, right? It's not that difficult. Um, and developers, uh, having worked with them for 15 odd years, they are very, very um, straightforward. They're black and white type of people. So if you ask them a question, you will get an answer. Most of the time they're just busy. So if you're, you've um, felt that, you know, they're uh, not responsive, it's probably just because they're busy. But, you know, I've loved working with developers all my career and have learned a great lot from them. Just talk to them. Ask your developer a ton of questions, right? Like ask them when and where the API calls will be made. How will we know the API call is successful? What is the expectation if the API doesn't work? How will we know API downtimes? These are things that they already should be considering. But if you're curious, you're more than welcome to go talk to them about it and figure out how this is working on the back end. Get on a call with your developers and developers um, who offer the API so everyone's on the same page, testing and validation verification is done before the final API call is made, and participate in uh, API testing, which is call system integration testing. And um, you know, talk to your QA developer, uh, QA analyst as well, because most of the time your developers and QA analysts, quality assurance analysts will be responsible for doing system integration testing. You as a business analyst and or scrum master just need to know that it's taking place and that data is moving end to end to and from the systems that it needs to move from, okay? And that's all I have prepared for you. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I hope that I've shed some light on system integration for you guys. Um, I'll pause there to see if you guys have any questions. And if not now, uh, let me know if you have any questions later. And let me know also if this new time, nine o'clock on Sundays works for you. I'm thinking about changing our time frame because Sundays is a busy day for me with my family. Uh, let me know if you're watching this as a replay or if you actually watch this as a live. And also let me know if you have any questions for me that I can go deeper on. Um, and with that, if there's nothing else now, leave your comments, uh, leave your questions in the comments and I will get back to you as well. I hope this was helpful. I hope this makes you feel a little bit at ease about you know system integration and APIs. Um, I get lots of questions around them. So I hope that this was helpful and um, you were able to learn something from this session. Let me see, check comments. Okay, I don't see any questions at the moment. Again, let me know if you have any. It's always a pleasure to be here with you guys. Thank you so much. And let me know what other training topics you guys would like to learn about. Our schedule goes out to November, I believe, but I'm more than happy to continue adding on to that schedule. And with that said, this is Sarah G. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.